So as someone who is traveling around the country in a teardrop trailer, one of the questions I get asked the most is, is there a bathroom in that thing? No, there's no bathroom in this thing. So I piss in this and I shit in that. That's it. All right, I'll give a little more context. When nature calls, there are three ways I respond. All right, well, the first way is the same as anybody else who's on a road trip. I look for public restrooms. I look for public restrooms anywhere I can, like a restaurant or a gas station. If I'm at a national park, then I'll just go to the visitor center area. If I'm going on a hike and there's a pit toilet at the trailhead, I'll just use that. Now, if I'm not around any public restrooms, I do the next best thing, dig a hole. So this is a collapsible shovel. And the reason I got a collapsible shovel is really just for space. I don't have a lot of space to put a big shovel. So this one packs down very small. I just got it at Walmart. It's just an Ozark Trail one. I didn't get a super fancy one or anything. It actually fits in my lockbox up on the tongue of the trailer perfectly well. All right, well, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about what's called digging a cat hole when you do your business out in nature, but the logistics are pretty simple. You wanna go about 200 feet away from your campsite, 200 feet away from your food, 200 feet away from any water source, and then you wanna dig a hole about six to eight inches in depth. Now, when you go to bury your waste, it's actually sometimes okay to bury your used toilet paper along with it. You need to check with the area that you're actually in to make sure that that's okay first, but it's probably a better practice to actually pack out any used toilet paper in a Ziploc bag, sometimes two or three Ziploc bags. All right, well, we covered the basics, like going to find a public restroom. That's the one I always try to do the most if I can, especially if it's a road day for me, meaning I'm driving from one point to the next. It's obviously the easiest. I just find a public restroom to get to and go there. Two, dig a cat hole. That's something that everybody who's ever gone camping has done at least once. But sometimes I find myself in camp spots where there are plenty of people around and I can't go outside to dig a hole. There's no pit toilet area. Um, a lot of, I don't go on, I don't actually stay on campgrounds too much. I actually find myself camping on more dispersed camping areas like I'm at today, where it's just open public land. And there's no one here around me today, so I could easily dig a hole if I want to. And I tried that earlier, but the ground here is a little tough, so digging a hole in this was not so easy, especially if I had to go six, eight inches deep. It was, it's just kind of a tough soil. So there's two other ways I use the restroom when I need to and I can't use public restrooms or dig a hole. One's a pee bottle. I'm not gonna explain how this works. It's a pee bottle. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But the thing I like most about this is it's so small, I can put it in the teardrop and keep it there for in the mornings, right when I wake up and need a pee. Uh, I don't have to get dressed and go outside just to go into the woods or outside somewhere just to pee. I can just pee in this and then empty this whenever I get a chance. All right, so how do I do number two when I need to because there is no toilet inside the teardrop. That's why I bought a toilet. This is a Reliance 3320 camping toilet. Flip this up, actually has a little place to sit on. This is the closest thing to a real toilet that you're gonna get without actual plumbing. Um, the way it basically works is this has two tanks. You have one tank here and you have one tank here. This is a three gallon tank and this is a five gallon tank. And the three gallon tank holds water so that you can actually use it like a flusher so i pull this up and when i push this down water actually fills into the bowl here so it works just like a normal toilet you're just flushing here is where you would fill this three gallon tank up with water to flush with and then all your waste is going to go down to this five gallon tank here and what's really nice about this whole toilet system is i can put waste in here <laughs> easiest way to say it uh probably the grossest way to say it, but it is what it is, <laughs> that I can put things in here and I can keep them in there for a couple days if necessary, because eventually this will have to be all emptied, but sometimes I'm not in places where I can empty it. Um, I can really only empty this if things like pit toilets or a public restroom at say like a gas station or something. Um, so yeah, so that's where this comes in. You're definitely gonna want some of this. This is RV chemical toilet. Now, basically, this is for anybody who has an RV or a black tank. 
um, or even this thing, it eliminates odor and it breaks down waste a lot faster. Um, so that helps a lot with keeping this smelling good on the outside. Definitely doesn't smell good on the inside, but it smells better on the outside. Um, and when you're ready to put your waste into the, the five gallon tank, this thing right here, this handle in the front opens up and everything goes in down into there. And then you just close this up when you're done using it. And then again, you can, I sometimes have gone, I've gone like a week before where I just couldn't get to a, a, a public toilet somewhere where I can empty this. Now it has a little gauge right here that's supposed to indicate when it needs to be emptied. And right now it's sitting about halfway. I don't find this to be super accurate. Um, not trying to be gross or anything, but I actually had to use this earlier this morning. And so I know that that can be okay for a little while before it needs to be emptied. So this color code system is supposed to tell you when it needs to be emptied, but again, I don't find it to be super accurate. This thing can actually fit inside of the teardrop, which is super convenient. I've had to do that several times uh, when I've been at a uh, camp spot where, again, there's no pit toilets around or nothing to, I can't dig a hole or anything outside because there's people outside uh, and I've needed to use the toilet in the teardrop so I can actually sit on this kind of squatted over <laughs> but I can sit on this inside the teardrop um, and then I actually store this whole uh, toilet in my car uh, it just makes it the easiest especially if I need to go empty this and uh, maybe leaving the teardrop behind at a campsite uh, I'll unhitch the trailer, leave it at the campsite. I can just drive the car and take the toilet to a place where I can empty it. When you do go to empty it, this whole thing will break down into two sections. The top section will separate from the bottom section. And there's a funnel along the back that'll help you get all your waste out. So you pull this out and you unscrew this cap coming off. And basically you can just tip over the whole five gallon tank into a, again, I just use a, a public toilet somewhere like a gas station. Rest stop is a good, easy one to, to empty it into. Just a public restroom, anywhere I can empty it and you're good to go. And this thing uh, is on very, very tight. And this is very kind of tight. This way, you know, it's not going to like move out on you <laughs> in the middle of like driving or anything. Also, this whole toilet has uh, handles here, making this fairly easy to pick up and carry. It does have some weight to it when this is full of water and this is full of water and what else. Um, but yeah, this is probably the best way for me living in such a small space. Um, I Again, I can put this in the teardrop and use it and I can go a couple days if I need to before emptying it. All right, so that's how I use the restroom when I need to on the road. Um, that thing has actually been best for me in a lot of situations. Like I said, I've been at lots of campgrounds where it's just public land. There's a lot of people camping at it. I can't go outside to dig a hole because everybody would see me. And uh, there's no pit toilets or public restrooms anywhere around me. So yeah, I've had to use that quite a lot. A friend of mine asked me right before I left, well, why'd you buy that thing? It seems pretty big and kind of clunky and a little expensive for just shitting in. She recommended just getting like a bucket with a plastic bag. And that's how a lot of people who live on the road full time do it, especially if they don't have like a big fifth wheel with a nice toilet system or something in it where there's actually a black tank and all that good stuff. Uh, the short answer is then that means I would have to do something very, very quickly with that plastic bag that I just shit in. And with this, I don't have to do something quickly. I can wait a little while to actually dispose of it. Because the reality is I'm not always around a public place to go empty a big bag of shit. So this allows me to take it to a spot and empty it maybe a few days later or something like that from actually having to use it. Versus using like a bucket system, well, then I have to empty that bucket very quickly. And again, if I'm around a camp spot with a lot of people, that's the last thing a lot of people are gonna wanna see from me is just empty a big bucket of shit. So that's one of the questions that get asked a lot of. I know it's not the fondest topic to talk about, but shit happens, right? If you have any questions for me, uh, as I live in a teardrop trailer, traveling the country for a year, please, by all means, let me know in the comment below and I will try to address it in future videos. Thanks for escaping normal life with me.